Okay. I've been working on this underpainting for a while. Got it got it in place. Pretty happy with my results. Trying to get the glare out of the way. So I just kinda I was using the same color for the underpainting I used on this one. It's just kind of a uh, purpley brown color. Had a pretty good mixture I used from last time. I always say these old lunch meat comes in those. Those are perfect for doing what I do. Kind of put some medium in there. I like to use this Winsor & Newton fine detail. That's nice. Helps it dry pretty much overnight. Maybe maybe two days. So you said to thin it. And just kind of, you know, I'm left handed so I kind of start here and work this way to keep my hand out of things. And, uh, but you know, when you're doing an underpainting, you kind of, it's a good time to lay in your values, your lights and your darks, and get your details down. It's always nice to leave you know like right right there that little piece of the wheel uh something about that is satisfying for your mind to see we want to see stuff like that it makes sense so you know in my opinion uh you know a good underpainting kind of stands on its own sometimes it's like wow i could leave that and let it be Uh, but so that's what we're looking at. On this end, I use my little things again. After I shoot this, I'm going to lower it back down. This is the medium makes it loose enough. If you have it tilted, it could pull to the corner of the area you painted. So, yeah, another thing too, when I'm working on stuff like this, I try to clear my mind. Um, don't be worrying about the neighbor next door is worried about your leaves or or uh, if she's had a stressful day it might not be the best time to try to tackle you know doing straight lines and circles and such but at the same time sometimes that's what clears your mind and gets you in a better mood so you never know but sometimes if I'm kind of wound up doing stuff like this isn't the right time for it thanks for watching guys I'm gonna Start laying in some color in a couple of days after this dries. Thank you.